Are your power generation? Um, a lot of you are aware we've concluded our negotiations um, roughly about a year ago and uh, we have come to a resolution with Ontario Power Generation and it was many years of the hydroelectric facilities on our Great Lake that caused uh, damage to our community and uh, we have come together and was one today and uh, this is the apology that was promised by Tom Mitchell to come to the community to apologize to the members of Gias, Zagin and Schnebeck. And after that, after the apology, we're going to go over to the monument, uh, over to my right, and we're going to be revealing the monument. And that monument is to show respect, honor uh, to our ancestors who were buried on the shores of Lake Dipigin. So without further ado, I'll turn the microphone over to Mr. Tom Mitchell. Thank you, Chief. Bonjour, Ani. Welcome to everyone. I would like to acknowledge the elders, youth, members of the community, Chief King and Council. It is an honor and pleasure to be here. Regrettably, I was unable to attend the apology ceremony held in December in Thunder Bay. At that time, Mike Martelli, Senior Vice President of Hydrothermal Operations, spoke on my behalf, acknowledging the long history OPG and its predecessor companies have, have had with the people of Kinashi, Kazing, and Ape. So as I begin my transition into retirement, I am very happy that today's annual powwow and community ceremony is one of my last official events to attend as the president of Ontario Power Generation. I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce OPG's new president and chief executive officer, Jeffrey Lyre, who has joined me today as, other, as well as other members of OPG. We thank you for your genuine hospitality and the opportunity to share in today's celebration. OPG and KZA have now begun a new relationship. One is based on mutual respect, honesty, and trust. We have resolved the outstanding past grievances together. We are planning the shoreline remediation work together. And we continue to discuss potential opportunities for future energy initiatives together. And I am very proud of what we have been able to accomplish together. Through the dedicated efforts of many individuals, a solid foundation for our relationship has been established. Now, although the delivery of this apology, I know, cannot undo our past, my hope is it will continue to lead us forward to a new and better way of living and working together.